Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I am stopping off at the store. However, I've been seeing a lot of negativity, so I wanted to get on here and give a positive feed and a motivating feed. I know I haven't been on in a while, which I apologize for. I've just been busy. And I told everybody every once in a while I do get busy and everything. And we are getting set for a bunch of big promo stuff. So, anyway, tonight, today I want everybody to know, first off, you matter, you're important. I tell you that all the time. I just want you to know that. Second thing is, I want you to understand something in life. We all go through these ups and downs in life. It goes ups and downs. Now, what separates those that are motivated from those that basically do nothing? I always kind of get mad, and I know I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but I always remind people about the people in Walmart. And I'm going to give you an example. And I know I'm going to get in trouble for this, and I don't care. The reason why I don't care is because you got to understand, you can give me every excuse in the world, and you can tell me every problem in the world, but I want you to understand something. What I'm about to say, I mean with the bottom of my heart, which means I don't care if I insult somebody. When you go to Walmart, years ago, everybody used to be able to get through all the stores and all the Walmarts, okay? Now you see people that get on these little scooters and they want to drive around Walmart because they have an excuse on why they got to drive around on, on scooters in Walmart. Now, the other day I was at Walmart doing a thing for the Marine Corps League and one of the ladies told me she got ran over by a person on a scooter that was more than capable of walking, but she wasn't. And the lady that was not on the scooter was a little bit slower, but she was still able to get off on her own. Now, what does that mean to me? That shows me the more we give people things, the more we put things out there, the more people are going to have excuses on why they need the very thing they didn't need a couple years ago. And that's how life is going with business, how life is going with voluntary benefits. That's how things are going with people that want to volunteer for everywhere from Marine Corps League to the Legion. You know, they have all these excuses on why they don't want to give up their time Yet, when they do get their time, they go and sit in a little shopping cart and they drive around when they don't need it. I'm sorry, but to me, the people that are in the little shopping carts, they need to be walking to go get their milk. I'm not just saying that because I'm a health nut, but I'm saying it because these people, they have every excuse in the world why they do not want, why they need to sit down in a little scooter. Now, is this about people in a little scooter? No, it's not. But you know what? Somebody that motivates me is somebody that goes into a store they go all the way to the back, they go all the way to the front, they walk all the way to the back, and they're walking on their own accord, and they know that they can actually get into one, but they don't. That is a motivational tactic from now on. Why? Because people that get around on their own, people that actually have the excuse, but they don't use the excuse, are better off than those that have every excuse in the world, and they use them. People that have excuses for being lazy are lazy. People that have excuses to abuse people are abusive. Okay, people that are basically going to go out of their way to take advantage of other people, that's exactly what they're just looking for an excuse. I'm not giving people that leeway. If you want to go to Walmart, walk in Walmart. You want to go to the high V's, the county marks of the world, then get off your lazy butt and walk. I'm not saying this because I don't like you. I'm saying that because I care about you. And the more you sit down in those chairs, the more pressure goes on that heart, the more you're going to die quicker than everybody else. I don't care what your excuses are. Five, six years ago, we never had that for an excuse. Why are you using it for an excuse now? Now, let me get into my daily motivation. My motivation is this. Every day when you get up in the morning, do not turn on the news. It's just negative. Do not turn on everybody that's complaining about everything. It's negative. You know what you need to do? Put on some motivating music, write out your list, what you got to do for the day, get your shower, brush your teeth, get your breakfast, get your kids up, get them ready for school, tell them you love them, do the basic stuff, make your bed every day. Then what you need to do is if you have a little bit of time, read a page or 11 pages of a good book. If you have to wait till you get home, read 11 pages of a good book when you get home. One of my mentors said it best. If you can read and you don't, okay, then you are basically a voluntary illiterate. You need to read. If you know how to read, there are people out there today that don't know how to read and wish they did. You need to read every day. Why do you need to read? And I'm not talking about science fiction. I'm talking about a good motivational book, a book that teaches you what to do. Because you need to know how to write an application. You need to go, go for that job promotion. You need to know what stocks are and bonds are. You need to know how to make your life better. You need to know different things to make your life worthwhile. 
If all you do is you go through life, go to work, come home, go to work, come home, you're no good for nobody, okay? And I'm so tired of Marines and Army and everybody else that think that their life is only about going to work every day and you have nothing else to live for. You have everything to live for. My mom, my my dad's a factory worker, was his entire life till he retired. We didn't have very much money. You never did. And I'm tired of people thinking that because of what I do. But my family has never had very much money. My mom used to cook and bake and sell her goods and everything else. But you know what we did? We went and visited family every year, but we traveled the United States. I had a blessing because we'd stay at our family's house and everything else. I didn't know how good I had it until she was gone, until I quit traveling. Now I'd do anything to take my daughter traveling again. So what I do is I save up, I, bait, I scrounge, I pinch, I do whatever it takes to save up money so I can do different activities with my daughter every single year. I'm taking her to Florida this year. That doesn't mean you can't do it yourself. And you know what? People that have every school and they blame everybody else, they're just excuses. Quit using excuses for things you can do. You want to learn how to write a resume? You want to learn how to write an application and do it great? Go to the local library. It's free. You want to learn what motivation is and everything else? Tune into my channel. I'll motivate you. I'll light a fire underneath you so where you're going to go so fast, that fire is going to stick with you. My whole job in life is to make sure that you know that you matter, but you don't matter if you're sitting there doing nothing. You matter when you're out there using your skills, your People need to hear from you. They need to know about you. you age is not relevant. That means nothing. Your sex, your creed, the culture, it means nothing. What's important is that you matter and you know that every day. Now, today's just one of those days to where I'm watching lazy people because, oh, all of a sudden the sun came out. Well, you've been wishing and wishing for it to be warm outside. Now it's warm outside. Now you're not doing anything. Now, now you're just like, oh, you can do that when it's cold because that's what you did. Now get out there and start... Go running every day. Take a walk every day. Basically, watch your way. Go plant yourself a garden if you have to. Grow a flower. I know a lot of you got brown thumbs. So the frick what? Go grow another one. Go out there with your kids every day and tell them you love them. Tell them you care about them. Call a family member. Call a friend. Join a group. Marine Corps League. My God, we need more members to our Marine Corps League. I don't care if you're a Marine or not. Come join the Marine Corps League. The Legion, 100 year anniversary. They need members. Fishing for Freedom needs members. We got the Soapbox Derby coming up. We need members. There's always something that you can do to benefit society and benefit the people around you. What I'm trying to tell you right now is if you want to do more with your life, get around more people. Get around more things that are important. Go to church every once in a while. If you don't know a church, do what my drill instructor used to tell me. I'm going to send you to every single faith until you find one you like or you can tell me that none of them work for you. There's so many religions in the world, you'll never stop looking. That's the whole point of that. Each and every one of you matters. And I understand that you got medical conditions, you got this or that. That's fine. Find a way around it. Find a way to make yourself useful every day in life and every day in society. Find a way to stay out of that little freaking little go-kart that goes through freaking Walmarts and all the stores. Because guess what? You want somebody to tell you that it's pathetic. I'm sorry, it is. You are better than that little rascal scooter that you go through Walmart. If you want to lose weight, you want to, you got diabetes, something else, and you want to give everybody an excuse in the world, I'll go to court after telling somebody you're a lazy fat. Get off that dang rascal scooter and let me show you. I tell you what, I'll walk with you. Hold on to me while we walk. Guess what? While you're walking, you're going to be losing weight. You're going to get your energy levels up. But if all you're doing is you're going in there because then it's an excuse to be lazy so you can go buy more Doritos and nachos and all the fat foods that are making you sit in that chair, then you're no use to anybody. Every one of you matters, but you've got to know you matter and you're more important than that fat food that you're eating. You're more important than being lazy sitting on a couch every day. You're more important than all those excuses you give everybody day in and day out. And if that's all you know is drama and negativity, I hope people block you and I hope people, and then you'll get the point when no one listens to you no more. My thing on my social media stuff is to let people know that you matter. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Go to where they love you. Go to where every time you do something positive, someone's going to say something positive. But if you go to the bars every day to go drink just to be tore down by the drunk that's at the end of the road that's a bully, then what good are you? You're, you're basically allowing them to do that. Don't allow others to take your energy from you. Be better than the person that sits at in the bar drinking. And you want to know something? If you're going drinking every night, giving an excuse, and you got kids at home, you might want to reevaluate that situation. I used to know people because I used to be in the bar business. And I'd see people come in there seven days a week, and they got kids at home. 
And they always had a new excuse why they left their kids with somebody else or left their kids by themselves, but they'd never go to their kids. Then their kids would get in trouble at school. And then they asked themselves, well, I don't know why my kid's in trouble at school. Because maybe mom and dad need to be around that kid more. So you're a single parent. Single parents are heroes. You know why single parents are heroes? Single parents are heroes because they basically are still doing the, the job of the mom and dad both. Plus they're loving their kids. Plus they're getting them food. Plus they're making sure they have clothes. Plus they're sacrificing day in and day out. But then I see people that are single parents and they don't have their kids, yet they use being a single parent as an excuse. Or they use their parent, their, they may have an autistic child, yet they don't do nothing with this autistic child, but they want the credit of an autistic parent. Those people make me mad. Why? Because you are putting all the burden on the other person. You're putting the work on somebody else and not doing it yourself. That is your responsibility. You want the credit, do the work. You want to do better in life, then do the work to get it. You want to get that promotion at work, learn how to get the promotion at work. You want to be a better parent, start taking your kids to the park. Start going on bike rides with them, playing basketball with them. Start being there for them. Don't just say what you want to do, do it with them. I cannot take videos enough to show people what to do if you never even do the very things I'm trying to show you you can do with your kids. Pray with your kids every day. If you don't know what else to do, pray with them every day. Pray for yourself. Pray for the people around you. You're not religious, that's fine. Wish good tidings. Go to your neighbors. Say hi. Say please. Say thank you. Guess what? Sit down with your kids. Read with them. Read to them. Let them read to you. It may be boring because you're not used to it, but guess what? The more time you spend with your kids today, the more they're going to thank you later. Yes, they're going to get in their teenage years. Yes, they're going to argue with you. Yes, they're going to be mad at you. Just wait till I get my daughter in her teenage years. I promise you she's going to be mad at me for everything. Why? But one thing I cannot ever say is I wasn't there for her when she needed me the most. I can never say that we didn't do stuff together. I can't say that I chose a bar over her. Don't ever choose a bar over your kids. Don't ever choose any of that stuff over your own children. If you need to, pray with them. Pray with them. Read with them. Do math with them. I'm, I'm terrible at math. But if my daughter needs help with math, I'm going to help her with math. I'll read a book. I'll go get a counselor. I'll go find somebody to help her with that. If you're a single person who's not got any kids whatsoever and you just don't think your life matters, every day in life, you matter and we need you out there. I'm tired of my friends committing suicide because they don't think they're important enough. They don't think they matter because they have so many demons running around in their head that not one of my other friends ever asked, are you okay? I, for one, got told the other day by a good friend of mine for the very first time, I'm gonna reveal something here today. Now, do I have issues in my head? Yes, I do. But I always make sure to go out of my way. I feel good helping people. I had somebody that really is, his comfort zone is not about helping people, but he came over to me and gave me a card. He's like, hey, if you ever need anything, here's a number you can, I just want you to know it. And man, it took him like, you know how hard it was for him to hand me a dog tag that said help crisis line. Now, do I need that kind of help? No. But does he know that? No. Does he see me doing this stuff? Does he always talk? Do, yes, he does. So to me, it meant a great deal to me for him to hand me something like this because he went outside of his box in order to do something he's not familiar with. Every day in life, we need to be there for people. Every day in life, we need to let people know they matter, that they're important. Every day in life, we need to get our energy levels up somehow and find those very things. If all we do is go to Walmart, and sit in a little rascal scooter and have to take a stick to pull stuff out and wrap in our cart and then go run over people and yell them for getting in our way, we're not doing any good to nobody. Get out of the dang rascal scooter. Get off your butt every day. Do something that means something to people. They need you. You're the person right now, yes, you listening to this, could save somebody's life. No matter who you are, no matter what your race is, your culture, religion, no matter if you got a penis or a vagina, I don't care. If you're black, white, green, I don't care. I never have cared. Go out there and be a man of the people. Be a woman of the people. Go out there and do your best and maybe your kindness will save a life. Your kindness could save a life today. It doesn't matter if you're straight, gay, bisexual, like I said, man, woman, dog, cat, I don't care. Go out there today and be kind to everybody around you because the person you're kind to today, you may not know the problems they have going on and you may have saved their life. Here's the thing, you're not gonna know it. You're not supposed to know it. Do it to the next person tomorrow, then the next person, then the next person. The day you arrive at the pearly gates and St. Peter looks at you and says, you saved one life, then it was worth it. But you gotta know when the day that you're sitting on your deathbed, did you do everything you can? 
I don't know. What did you do today? Did you sit on the couch today or did you get up to talk to people? Did you let people know they matter? Did you get on there and energize people? Did you help people with an application? Did you help people try to get a raise? Did you help people with a resume? Did you help maybe somebody sell Girl Scout cookies? Maybe help your kids make a lemonade stand? Did you go over to the student council? Did you go over to high school? Did you go help a, a utility group? Did you go to a church? What did you do? Did you just sit on your butt and say, oh, nobody needs me. Oh, I'm nobody important. Well, guess what? The person that did that is the one that everybody needs today. The person that doesn't think their life matters, that thinks that they don't mean anything, is the person today that everybody needs. If you are the person that's sitting in one of those little rascals at Walmart, get your butt out of the dang rascal scooter and do something with your life. I'm sorry, but you didn't have those five years ago, so you have no excuse today why you need a rascal scooter in Walmart, Kmart, or any of the other places. You want to know something? If you're that lazy, be like some of these other people and just order offline. Because you want to know something? You're wasting my time while you're in that store because I got places to be, I got people to see. And if you're in that little rascal scooter because, oh, you're too fat to get out of the dang chair, sorry, I'm being honest. Then you can start losing weight one step at a time. Get a cane. Walk with a cane. I know elderly people that are out walking you. I know people that every day wish they could lose weight and they're doing everything they can. Yet you're being in there because you're lazy. You're, you're, that's an excuse. I don't want to hear excuse. I want to see results. I want to see what you can do. And if all you want to do is go to Walmart, then walk Walmart. My God, the place is a racetrack. Go in there and walk it. Elder, doesn't matter. People used to go to the mall just to walk to get exercise. We don't have malls anymore because they all closed down, but we do got Walmarts. We got Sam's Clubs. We've got uh, Staples. We've got uh, uh, Targets. We've got all these places where you can get up and walk around and be safe. Because I promise you, you got people in there to help you. They're going to be nice to you. They're going to be kind to you. And maybe they won't take your picture of you being in a rascal scooter with two cheeks hanging over both ends. You're right. I'm being honest today. Why? Because it's the only thing that wakes people up. When we're in the Marine Corps, everybody's like, you guys are rude. You guys are rude. You want to know something? Marines are not rude. Marines are telling you the way it is. And when you get to the fleet, it doesn't matter what they say to you. They're going to pull you in and they're going to pull you out. Every Marine, we leave no man behind. We don't leave no, no man, no woman behind. They may be mean in boot camp because the drill instructor is trying to break you down. But when you get to the fleet, it's about making sure you're only as fast as your slowest Marine. You're only as fast as the slowest person. And what you do is you got to know how to pull a person out because we do not leave any man behind. And when I talk to people on here, whether you're in a little rascal scooter at Walmart and shouldn't be, or you're giving me every excuse in the world about your diabetes, your cancer, your AIDS, your flatation, or whatever else, give me an excuse on why you get to be lazy. I'm thinking of everybody else that's in your same situation that's never given an excuse and has beat it every single time because they chose they were not going to give up. Not today, not ever. And when a lazy person comes up to me and tells me all their excuses, I think of that Marine, that Army, that soldier, the sailor. I think of the person that has cancer that has beaten it day and day again, every day, because they chose not to give me an excuse to sit in a little rascal scooter so they could get around Walmart. It all boils down to your attitude on things. It boils down to on, are your friends, are you so critical of your friends they're afraid to tell you how they really think because you're going to take it personal? If one of my Marine Corps buddies is laying in bed because he's afraid to get out because of depression, I'm going to go yell at his butt and I'm going to go drag him out of the bed. I may go to court and I may get sued, but I'm going to drag him out of bed and then he's going to have to walk into court. And when he walks into court, I'm going to be proud because he got his lazy butt up, came into court to sue my butt, and I'm going to be proud of it. You know why? Because I did what I was supposed to do. I made sure to leave no man behind. And when I energize you and when I motivate you, it's about leaving no man behind. You need something to do? My Marine Corps League, our Marine Corps League, our legions need you right now. Whether you're military or not, we need you right now. I'm giving you a place to go where you can enjoy each other's company. Uh -oh. that call real quick. The reason why is because I, I know I'm going to finish up now. There's always something more you can do in life. There's always something, somebody you can train. Even if you don't understand something, you can still be there for somebody rooting them on. How many people go to a NASCAR race and watch all these cars? You're re rooting, right? You're going to a NASCAR race, but you can't drive a car, right? You can't drive a car, but you can go to a NASCAR race. You can go to a dirt track. How many people go to a basketball game of basketball players in high school and grade school and you're rooting the kids on, but you're not playing, but you sure can root them on, right? Because they matter to you. 
You should feel that way about your friends and your neighbors. Go and support those, even if you don't know how to do it. Get out of the house. My brothers and sisters, 22 of them a day, die every day. Because people will not get out of their house. They will not get off their bed. They will not get off their butt just to go be nice to somebody. And it might be my brothers and sisters that this is happening to. But it's happening in your communities to where you can be the person that saves a life today. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I just want each and every one of you to know that you are important. There's a place for each of you out there. Every day we try to motivate you, whether it's for business, whether it's for school, or whether it's just for success. Your age does not matter. Your sex, your creed, your religion does not matter. What matters is that you are a neighbor to somebody. What matters is you are there for somebody, whether you know them or not. What matters is you don't ask for thanks. You just be thankful you get to help them. You be thankful that you can tell them, look, I don't understand what your situation is, but you got this. You're not going to know everybody's situation, but you can be everybody's savior. If you just get out and learn to help people, get off the rascal, start moving out there. Get off your momentum. You can be a man of God and sin every single day and it means nothing. But if you basically go out there and you try to shake hands with people, say please and thank you, invite them to a Marine Corps League meeting, invite them to a derby race, maybe invite them to your church. Maybe that's what they needed. Be better today than who you were yesterday, but be outstanding tomorrow. And to be an outstanding person, all it takes is a little bit of your time to be kind. That's what it means. And if it means to motivate somebody and tell them some things they don't want to hear, well, usually the things they don't want to hear are the honest to God truth. If somebody's too fat to sit in a rascal scooter and you tell them, look, if you're going to lose weight, you need to start learning to walk, then you need to tell them like that. And if they get mad at you in the back of their mind, they're going to keep thinking, man, they were rude to me. Man, they were rude to me. I'm going to get out. They're going to feel bad. So what? Have we become a nation of sissified people that cannot be honest and truthful with those that are going to die because if they don't get out of the rascal scooter, they're going to die of a heart attack. They're going to die of clogged arteries. They're going to die because they just gave up on life because they're depressed. No. Don't start a fight with them, please. Don't, don't start a fight with anybody. And don't be mean. Use tact. That's what we do in the Marine Corps. Use tact. Oh, you dropped that. Unplug the battery of the dang rascal scooter so none of them work. Well, then what are they going to do? What happens if all the scooters at Walmart quit working because they were unplugged? Don't do it. Oh, my God. I'm, I know somebody's going to sue me for saying this. So I got to be careful. But I'm just giving you an idea. They weren't around five or six years ago. But you want to know something? Neither were we. We're the new generation, so we're the generation that has to help the new generation and the old generation. My forefathers, my dad, my grandparents told me what I needed to do. And that is be there for everybody and just be a symbol to where they can see us and they know that we're going to try to motivate them. We're going to try to help them. We can't give them money. We can't give them too much, but we sure can let them know that they are awesome. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I got a little overboard today. I'll talk to you everybody later. God bless each and whatever one of you. And know this. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. We're all, we're all pink inside. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I guarantee you we can all work the same way for the same cause and the same way we do things. It doesn't matter what your religion is as long as each of you are kind to each other. And if your religion says to kill somebody, get a new religion. Because that's just people trying to control you. I'm not trying to control you. I just want the best for you. And I want you to know that you matter. Anyway, I'll talk to everybody later. God bless each of you. Have a great day. And um, I'm sure someone's going to complain about my speech today. But oh well. That's just how it goes, right? Not everybody joined the Marine Corps either, did they? But they sure do like to act like they did. Well, I was going to. I could have. Well, here's what happened. Yeah, okay. Give me another excuse why you didn't join the Marine Corps, buddy. That's all I want to hear is another excuse. God bless everybody. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.